All hella beard, it's your boy Big B B, and we are back for another edition of Big Beard Business. Today's video is coming to you by way of subscriber choice because, well, I gotta make sure that you guys are satisfied. And I thought the video topic was cool because it made sense. Today we're talking about five of the best new fragrances for teenage guys that won't break the bank. And I thought, you know what? That is interesting and it makes sense. Listen, we're talking about five new fragrances that released in 2021 that won't break the bank and will work well for teenage guys. But there's a caveat here. Obviously, they released in 2021, so these things aren't the cheapest things out there, but they aren't the most expensive. And with a little research, you could probably pick these fragrances up for below retail so without any further ado let's go ahead and hop in today's video and get down to big beard business now the first fragrance we'll talk about today is one that is obviously playful and it really set out to be a game changer in terms of how it presents itself the fragrance comes from the house of paco Rabanne, and this one is paco Rabanne's phantom not to be confused with killian's black phantom now, if you look at the bottle, obviously this bottle looks nothing like Killian's fragrance, but you can look at this fragrance and say, hey, this is probably not for the most mature of guys out there. The presentation is kind of interesting. It kind of reminds me of Wally, but what you get with this fragrance is something that is addictively creamy and sweet. When I smell this fragrance on skin and on test trip, as it dries down, it it's almost like it's trying to pull in from that hazelnut that you would find in One Million Lucky, but also it's a little bit different. I mean, actually, who am I kidding? This one is likely totally different than what you would expect. Now, um, it's vibrant, it's fresh, it's open, it's sweet as well. Again, there's some, some lemon within the scent. You also get that lavender, you get the vanilla within the scent, and it has just something that's totally unique about it. Obviously, the experience of this fragrance is unique, um, and this fragrance is also ethically sourced, so it has a little bit of a backstory and purpose to this scent all around obviously the tech piece is there so that provides a lot of what people are looking for today especially in this newer generation so be sure to try that fragrance out because i think it's something different and it also smells nice next up on our list is a fragrance from the house of carolina herrera and this is probably directed to a lot of you guys out there who are bad boys <laughs> this fragrance is none other than that of Bad Boy Superstar. And the bottle on this one gets messed up really quickly, but the fragrance here is nice. So keep your grubby little hands off it, or at least your friends grubby little hands off this. This is not one you'll share. So this fragrance here to me does um, something interesting in the air. So when I, I think back to my first impression on this, I sprayed it, I said, it didn't go quite as well. And I said, and I was talking, I said, oh yeah, that does smell good. So it takes a little bit in the air for it to catch you and capture its true essence, but the scent is good. This one is bold, it's sensual, and it's reminiscent to the original, but maybe a little bit better, okay? I, I don't have the original in my collection. I'm just going off of, you know, things that people have said to me since then. In addition to that fresh, vibrant open, I get like some chocolate or cacao with the scent. When I was looking at the note breakdown originally, I would say that they were you know, less than forthcoming with what the note breakdown was here, but I can say in the opening, there's probably some bergamot, some, some type of citrus fruity opening. And then there's some spice here. It's an aromatic scent, there's spice, so likely pepper within this one, whether it's black or pink pepper, probably a mixture of both. And then I get some type of chocolatey feel here, which really provides this richness to the scent, in addition to a bit of sensuality and sweetness. So this scent here will work for those guys out there who wanna change up just a bit, still get something bright, nothing that is too complicated and too difficult for a younger or less mature nose to understand. That's a scent that you can go to to kind of add in a little bit of sophistication within your scent profile without over 
doing it. So Carolina Herrera, bad boy superstar is on the list today. Now if we go to the next fragrance here, it's one that comes from a house that is super easy to understand. And they rarely have misses when it comes down to it. And when misses, I mean like pew, 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 and you miss the target. They're pretty much on target. They may not be at the bullseye, but they're on target in terms of what they do. The fragrance house is none other than that of YSL, and this one is Lom La Parfum, all right? Yes, now when I thought of this fragrance, specifically of what it was going to be, I thought it would do like a brown juice. That's just my thoughts and opinion. But, the scent is good. Now, funny thing about this fragrance to me is that I got a text message from someone that said, hey, I just wanted to reach out to you and let you know what I picked up here recently. And it was this fragrance. I wanted to get my take on it. And I told him, hey, you made a great choice. Um, this scent is good, man. YSL does good fragrance as well. They do so many things, especially with this lone lineup. You can pretty much get anything you want within the lone lineup. With that being said, they need to bring back Lone Altine 2022. I'm putting it in the air, see if I can manifest that. Uh, he here it is, man. This scent here is just a nice, clean scent that's inviting and you really can't go wrong with it. And I know what some of you may be thinking if you smell this fragrance, you're like, yo B, you're saying it's clean. It's supposed to be a woody fragrance and it does have wood in this scent. I don't find it to be um, overly woody though. I think that the fragrance is extremely wearable. This fragrance is extremely easy going and easy to understand. And I personally find that it has a clean aspect to it, which is fine. You can have a woody fragrance with clean notes, okay? This scent is good all around. It's extremely easy to wear. In addition to that wood, it also has a bit of cardamom here. There's a little bit of spice within the scent. Um, not much sugar. So it's not much sugar, spice, everything nice. There's some, some sweetness there that's here but it's not like an overpowering or overbearing sweetness that you can find with some other fragrances out there. Again, another fragrance that's extremely easy to understand and to fit into your fragrance wardrobe, especially as a teenage guy. This one definitely won't break the bank. Be sure to try that one out, YSL L'Homme La Parfum. Now this next one here takes a more darker approach versus the other one and less clean uh, than what you would experience in the YSL fragrance that we just mentioned, but it is said to do very similar things. And that YSL fragrance is supposed to be bold, supposed to be sensual, but I find that this one is a bit more and the one that you should be wearing if that's what you wanna do. If you wanna have a fragrance that's sexy, bold, and a little more challenging, but also super, super enjoyable. The fragrance comes from the House of Azaro, and this one is Azaro's The Most wanted. Wearing this fragrance is going to make you the most wanted guy out there on your high school campus or yeah, let's keep it a high school. No middle school guys out there, all right? Um, this one's going to make you the most wanted guy on your high school campus, all right? You're a freshman, pop this one on and let all the little senior biddies get at you. Say, yeah, I'm the man. All right, don't, don't do that. Do a variation of that, but don't take my swag. <laughs> right. Listen, this one here is just an, an enjoyable scent that has made a variety of my list, not only for teenage guys, but for those of you out there who are just, well, normal guys. The most wanted is cardamom, toffee, amberwood. It's so weird to me how a company can do something so right and so wrong all within a 12 month time span. So they released, you know, a Zorro Sport, I believe in late 2020 or early 2021. And then Azaro's The Most Wanted, uh, totally different ends of the spectrum. One is a total dud, straight to Walmart and discounters. <laughs> this one here is a just a phenomenal scent that gets the job done. So be sure to put that one in your rotation. Visit your local big box retailer. Pick that one up. It won't break the bank even if you purchased it retail. Now the final fragrance I want to talk about today is probably the most versatile. Scratch that. It is the most versatile fragrance out of the ones that we're talking about today. And well, that's where you get the most bang for your money. The fragrance comes from the house of Armani. And this one is none other than Armani's Profundo Lights. Okay, this was the Aqua de Joe collection. This scent is just really, really nice. Clean, versatile scent that you can pretty much wear in any situation. With Profondo Lights, they tell you to dive into the mystery of the deep blue sea. And if you look on the bottom, if you have this fragrance in your collection, look at the bottom of this and you kind of just look like you are staring into the sea. And I'll tell you not to stare into the sea long without goggles because 
gonna burn your eyes. <laughs> all right, but there you have it. Um, all around, this this scent is extremely easy to wear. Mysterious, obviously it's an aquatic scent, and it's telling you to dive into the unknown or the deep blue, then there's going to be some elements of the scent that are a little bit different. Um, again, a scent that is going to be extremely enjoyable, easy to wear. It comes from a long line of salad, sophisticated uh, scents that work in a variety of situations, and I don't think this one's going to be any different. So those are five of the best fragrances of 2021 for teenage guys. Make sure you try these out. Are there any others that you find to be like, hey, you should have included this on your list? If so, I would love to know that down in the comments below. As always, I'm your boy, Big Beard B. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we are back again. And you already know what I need you to do. Just hit the goddamn bell.